On a different note, the UIL has suspended Lorenzo High School's head basketball coach for illegal recruitment. This decision comes after eight student athletes transferred to the school, with one of those violating the league's rules. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry joins us in the studio now to explain what led to this punishment. Natalie. Well, Karen, the committee held this hearing after some new evidence came to light last week. Another coach within the district handed over text messages that confirmed head coach Dion Mitchell had recruited a player from another school. That text states that, and I, and I quote from the text, have a kid you may want to look at and I need your help with him coming to play for me as well. He was 3A All-State. That player was Traven McCaslin. The UIL's executive committee revoked the rest of his eligibility recently for moving for athletic purposes. In a hearing Monday morning, Lorenzo head basketball coach Dion Mitchell told the committee he sent the messages as a joke. I'll say that to even coaches that I, that I play against. You know, say, hey, man, I need that kid. You need to send him over to Lorenzo. The committee addressed the irony between Mitchell showing interest in a player and then that player moving to Lorenzo just months later. Provides a pretty compelling argument to me that there was some recruiting involved here and Coach Mitchell was at the center of it. With Mitchell at the center, the committee shifted its focus to assistant coach Stacy Godfrey, who has been a topic of discussion after three players transferred to Lorenzo from Slayton, where he previously coached. I've known these kids since they were in yeah. in pre-athletics and while, I, while at Slayton. And I've just got grown attached to them. Lorenzo Superintendent Kayla Morrison then vouched for Godfrey, stating that she believes the only reason the players followed him is because he was their mentor. He, he's, he's a kind soul. He's a good man. And um, I never doubted his intentions of bringing those, those students with him. The committee placed Godfrey on two years probation. Dion Mitchell has been suspended from coaching for a year, and he's been placed on three years probation. That means he cannot attend any sporting event unless he's watching his son's play. We've reached out to Lorenzo ISD on whether the district will allow Mitchell to remain in his position as the athletic director. We've not heard back at this time. Karen. Thank you, Natalie.